Hello and welcome back to the realm of insanity. I am the Queen K Power XD and my lovely T Storians. Welcome back to the history of the realm, the VODs. We have a very special day today. We're going to be streaming the Secrets of the Telvani event with some very special guests, which I'm going to introduce you to soon. I am partnered with the Elder Scrolls Online stream team, so I get lots of support from Bethesda and Zenimax through gifted codes. Sometimes I get sponsored, various other things. So so the lovely VOD edit editing K is going to skip the bit where we wait for the phone call to come through. So if I snap my fingers, we should have guests on the screen. Hello. 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 How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. Really, really lovely to have you with us. Oh, it's <laughs> always a pleasure. So, Secrets of Tolvani, huh? Oh, yes. A very special event with very special prizes. <laughs> I just really want that house, frankly. <laughs> oh, I've got, I've got a very, I've got, oh, oh. Are we team Yisa? Or are we team the other Ooh. one that we don't care about? Okay, <laughs> I know a lot of, I know a lot of folks are voting for the tome. But I just love music boxes, and I'm so sad that the music boxes are 37%. <laughs> yeah, I have to say, I, I'm Team Tome. I feel like uh, my my arcanist, Kajaji, would never forgive me if I didn't pick the Tome. <laughs> <laughs> but the music box looks so cool. It really does. It, it is really pretty. I think... They're both lovely, and honestly, I think every, all of us would love both, but... No, I am, I am Team Yisa. Okay, okay. So, for those of you who might not know what this event is about, it's uh, kind of a celebration of Necrom and everything that is going on in Necrom. So, if you have the chapter, you are able to participate in this event and uh, get the uh, rewards that we will be unlocking. Um, currently, we are sitting at 59% out of 100. Uh, we are only 7%, I believe, away from unlocking the next reward. And then at 100%, there is the biggest reward of them all, the house that is being unlocked. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, I guess I've... So, I've actually loaded a character that I've not been doing this daily on yet. Just to talk everyone through how you can do this. And um, one of the easiest ways to pick up the quest is if you go to Crown Store and if you go to events and quest starters, there it is. Event quest is Tilvani Secret. You probably already done that, Kay, I would imagine. Oh yes, I've been uh, I've been doing it every day that I can, you know, getting our <laughs> way towards showing everyone how to do it. Rallying the troops. <laughs> good, good. So I'm gonna just quickly um, show everyone what we're supposed to be doing uh holiday event Tilvani secret there it is don't look at how many quests i have on my journal we don't talk about that <laughs> there are always many many quests to have and conveniently it's just around the corner yeah just over there there they are You can actually see the uh, the guy doing the quest today. When I done this on day one, it was like a flood. <laughs> you, could, <laughs> you could not see him. It was uh, wild. People were really passionate to get that house on day one. Good, good. We just need to keep that passion rolling. We still have until 10th of October. Um, so we really need to get that house sorted. Do the quest alongside with us, chat. Mm-hmm. So while uh, Ophi is listening to the quest, we're going to have a little chat. So if you didn't already gather, we've actually got... Too late? No, you still have until 10th to... The uh, Bethesda channel and, with us uh, today, aka continue. the lovely Ophelia. She's the community manager over on uh, Bethesda, uh, Bethesda UK. So we're actually a guest on the Bethesda channel today. Woo! 
Uh, so, uh, while Ophi is going through the quest, because uh, the Bethesda chat haven't heard this okay. quest yet, we have, okay? Uh, so, basically, there is at a least, secret... At least they, they're they not asking us to do work for free, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're, they're happy to pay. Yeah. Although, um, you know, it, typical Tevalny touching things they shouldn't be touching, you know? <laughs> That's how we got in this mess in the first place. Oh. Don't stand in stupid. Don't stand in stupid. Don't stand in stupid. Don't stand in stupid. Yes, you need to own the Necrom. Stand in stupid. Don't stand in stupid. Don't stand in stupid. So, thank you so so much for the subscription. I really appreciate it. Welcome and or welcome back to the offshore tea suppliers. Enjoy your chat badge, your emotes, the ability to change the room lights, and the ability to use sound commands. All the commands available to you are underneath exclamation mark commands. Enjoy. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. And uh, that chat badge, you know, it's going to look real cute on you. I can see. I can see. It's going to look real sweet. Dang it, care if I'm supposed to behave, don't give me self. What did I say? So, hello, how are you today? I hope you're glad. Okay. See, it does look delicious well, on you. He got himself in a situation, one can say. <laughs> a, a little bit of a pickle, a yeah. Bit. A, a little bit. Just a little bit. Ooh, I got a motive chapter. Lovely. So, uh, what kind of things can we do to contribute to the event? Did you pick up the... I think he's around here, the turn the pages one. Um... I guess... Oh yeah, there we go. Because that is the bit. one for the house. The other one is... Uh, the other one's... A r actually, the other one's really fun. And okay. I don't think it actually contributes to the house, but I did it and it was super fun because... Uh, you go to a certain place that came out with Necrom that is very chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, assemble the... Okay. So, I got the quest from him. What do we do next? So, the way that I done it was I did my Necrom dailies, because that's okay. how we get our tickets during the event. And then while you're doing the dailies, you can find these pages around the world. So I found that they drop mostly from bosses and del like so delve bosses, world bosses, and also they can drop quite frequently from resource nodes. So if you okay. see uh, like a, a jewelry uh, re resource node in the world, or uh, you, you know something to go mine, that is a great way to find them. They can be basically anywhere. So it's kind of like an Easter egg hunt. <laughs> Well, I must admit, I've not completed any of the uh, delves or any of the bosses here in Necrom on this character Ooh. yet, so we can go and try and see, um, you know, what we can find out there. I'll go so. pick up uh, some dailies and then share them, and then that okay. we can get that done at the same time. And then we'll be on the same ones rather than us picking up different dailies and then all being on different things. Everyone is sharing also uh, different tips in chat, which is really nice. Ooh. Which is really, really nice. So the full list of things that you can do to also complete those. Well. Uh, is uh, defeat a delve or world boss. You can defeat a bastion uh, herald or boss. Defeat any monsters. Open treasure chests, save boxes, yes. sigil portals. Harvest resource no nodes, pickpocket. Uh, um, for those who don't know, this is where activities. you get the dailies. Uh, daily quest. Um, when you adventure within the Tilvani Peninsula and Apocrypha. Uh, then, yeah, those you will receive secret Tilvani coffers as well which will have a chance to drop many different rewards. Um, so yeah. Super exciting. Um, in addition to that, uh, additional bonuses when you are doing 
all zone daily Lyria, quests. Lyria, Link Comforter, Sally, how are you today? Hope you're glad, because uh, if you don't, I'll be sad. They have the Hi. usual non-event reward doing? boxes doubled. Uh, Harvest node yields are increased, and World, Delve, and Trial bosses all award double loot, which is pretty cool. So, yeah. Oh, you're sharing stuff with me. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So, we got uh, quite, you know, all the, all the world bosses in Necrom, and and I, I say this wrong on purpose because it's fun to say wrong. The Telvani Penisuelis. <laughs> <laughs> And I will, I will infect everyone's minds with Telvana Penisuelis because it's really fun to say. Uh, so all the war bosses in these areas are super fun. <sighs> and what I really like about them is that some of them are actually quite challenging versus some of the okay. older world bosses. So you'll see a lot of people dying, which I find fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, well, let me, let me eat and let me pop a, a experience oh, yes. scroll. I should eat too. Before we do anything else. <laughs> I use my expensive stuff. It's my crown stuff. Which you can get from drops! Which are on today, I think. Still, right? Um, a good question. A very good question. Let me have a look on our calendar. If not, you just missed them. You snooze, you lose. <laughs> Souls. <laughs> Uh, right. Where are we going? Oh, this is not. Uh, Hi, Kit Kat. Indra, you mean? You if you None of these are Indrix. This is. <laughs> All of these three are different animals, actually. <laughs> oh, yes. So for those of you who are choosing the book, what's why the book? Why not Midnight. the Midnight? Hello, how are you today? Hope you're glad, because if you don't, I'll be sad. Hello. I guess it is kind of different, right? Compared to music boxes. We do have several music boxes. So something like a different interactive item. Looked like an Indrik from the... I, I can see. I can see. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a spooky... Actually, what's the name of the mount that you're on, Kay? Ooh. This is the... Dark. Where is it? Where are you? This is the... Oh, it's dark. And it's a goat. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? The book you? is something unique. Catches the eye. Ah, the Ram of Dark Delights. It was gotcha. from there the Harlequin. The Grim Harlequin crates, which will probably be coming out again at some point, because it's spoopy season. Well, you your outfit is not spoopy enough, though. No, actually, should we should we change into my spoopy season outfit live? Is this it? No, that's Christmas. Is this it? Nope, that's not it. Just kidding. I don't have it. I seem to have lost my head. I don't know. I've not lost it. It's safely and securely in my hand. Save my spoopy outfit? Oh no. Sad That's times. okay. You can be the opposite of uh, my outfit today because I'm I'm all spooky season ready. <laughs> what mount do I get this time? Yeah. Hey. I, this is one of my favorite uh, recent updates was the favorite random mount. So you can pick your favorite mounts and have them randomize. So it used to be you could have just any random mount. Now you can select your favorites and it will only pick from those, which I love because I'm I I hate making decisions. <laughs> so, where are we going for all of these? It's oh like a name Jack. Hello, how are oh, you today, Celestial? Hope you're glad because if you know, I'll be sad. Hello. Oh. Okay. I guess we are going to Apocrypha for all of them. Oh. Like, all three of them are taking us to Apocrypha. It knew that I was what here, because it's my <laughs> Okay, well, let's go then. Uh, should we go through town, or do you want to teleport there and I'll follow you? Uh, I'll go to... Right next door. Chat, 
Never travel to a way shrine from your map. It costs you money. Be stingy like me. Go to a way shrine and travel to another way shrine and it's free. Or you can travel onto a friend for free. Don't pay for travel. Be stingy. <laughs> He's over there. Okay, let's go. It's surprising how many people do not know that. I know people that have played ESO for as long as I have, and they're like, wait, you can travel to Way Shrine from a Way Shrine for free? And you pay from the map? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let me know when you're there, and I'm I will there. travel to you. You're there. Okay. Fast travel to your friend just because you're too lazy to walk to your way shrine. Wait, did I go me to the literally wrong... standing next to the way shrine me. and <laughs> fast I'm traveling to Cape Pile. Oh. I lied. I went to the wrong place. I don't know why. My brain isn't functioning. I went to the right. I went to the wrong. There we go. Now I'm there. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm, tra I'm traveling. I'm traveling. <laughs> well, it's 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 beautiful over here though. <laughs> <laughs> it is beautiful over here. It's nice. I'm so excited to be weather. here. <laughs> brain jumbled. There we go. Let's do. Okay, now, let's do this now. So we are doing the devourer of dreams. Okay. There we are. And we're in the pretty pink uh. bit of apocrypha. Oh, so uh -huh. cute. Let's see. Where, where where did Kate... Did, oh, there you are. Just on the other side. Yeah. I lost you. <laughs> okay. It's so pretty here. It's weird, but pretty. I love this part of Apocrypha. Now I have Please. a new system for okay. waiting. Okay. And, uh... It's a certain emote that came out with the most recent crates, and my plan is to get everyone while we're waiting for a world boss to spawn. I just go into a group of VSO people. Yeah. Turn around. Yeah. And is it the mushroom? And we do this. <laughs> it is the mushroom. <laughs> and so far, every time I've done it, People have started playing music or dancing around it, and I've oh no, don't spawn already! No, oh, <laughs> no, okay. okay. Maybe maybe next boss. Yeah, next boss, next boss. <laughs> oh. Hopefully, we get loot on this one. There's quite a few people here. I can't say the mushroom butt call on the Bethesda channel, can I, eh? <laughs> and yes, I That's muted a lot myself. Of people completing the dailies. And I think I got it. Uh, did I get a page? I don't know if I got a page. I got... No, no page for I got me. I got Almalexia deck fragment. So... That's cool. Got some nice, uh extra droppies from doing the world bosses so you can fill your little sticker book what's next i think we have two more here right or three yeah so we can do uh more world bosses or we can go and do the delve daily and you get a special coffer at the end when you hand in your dailies so coffers have a chance to drop from a bunch of things Ah, uh, they're specifically called, what are they called? The Secret Telvani Coffer. And you get a real fancy one called the Sublime Secret Telvani Coffer if you do the first daily of the day, and then after that you're guaranteed when you hand in a daily quest to get the extra goodie. But they can sometimes randomly drop from things too, so... Extra goodies! And the, uh, the outfit style from this event is super pretty. And the costume, actually, that you buy with tickets. Let's ride. Actually, how many tickets do I have? Oh, wait, all right, this is your reminder chat to go yeah, check your chef. tickets. How many tickets do you have? Seven out of 12. Okay, I'm safe. I was going to say, because I just handed in a daily that I saved from yesterday. 
I think I've used all of my tickets this morning to pick up some of the um um some of the collect parts of the collectible. I think if we do the delve down the bottom when we come out, there's a world boss right near it, so that might be okay. a good plan. Okay. I'll travel to you. I'll go into the delve and then you can just piggyback onto me. Yeah, don't hand in the daily if you haven't if you've got max tickets because they'll just go into Emmaus Moiris's realm and never be seen again. You'll never be able to use them. You just eat them. You don't want to know what his stomach looks like. <laughs> You're not getting those do? back. <laughs> what, what if we do? Um, you can try and get them back, but uh, it was nice knowing you. Cut <laughs> 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 it <laughs> oily. <laughs> I'm not going to question how you know that. <laughs> I am in the delve, which is named after my brain when I'm trying to research things. All right, I am. Um... We should take you. bets on whether at some point Kay slips us and says "mushroom butt cult" without muting herself on the Bethesda channel. Well, I will if you keep encouraging me to it say it. Like the color of the river over here. Oh, oh, that's a waste of books. This makes me sad. Why all of these books are just piled you up could, you here? Could, you could give Hermaeus Moira a colonoscopy to try and get them back. Dr. JD, hello, how are you today? I hope you're glad, because if you don't, I'll be sad alone. Uh, excuse me, what the heck is that quote? <laughs> that's really sad. That's really Lyria, sad. what quote books. did you Look just at them. Find? All the bookshelves that I can't read. That was that was my first thought running over here, being like, can I, can I read them? Can I read every single one of them? Imagine if you pull out one of these and everything crumbles. Yeah, it's um, you know, sometimes you don't have money to buy nice furnishings, so you just go find a and bunch stack of, everything. <laughs> you just find a stack of bookies that have. Uh... This is this is a literally hazard right here everywhere. Tell if this spider is this guy's pet and it's really sad that he's died, or if it's trying to eat him. <laughs> what is going on here? Wait, did I miss you? Oh, they, they, there you are. I've, I've been in this delve a few times and never noticed this spider being. I don't know if he's crying because his friend's dead or. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, bud? Are you okay? <laughs> I love the little things that you notice. You'll go through a delve so many times and just not realize what's going on. Then all of a sudden you'll go into a delve for the 50th time and go, wait, that's something I didn't notice before. Another yeah. thing that you need to remember is always look up. Because the amount of times I run through delves looking at the floor. From me. Oh. oh. Someone's not happy with it. Oh, hello. Reveal your doom. Jeff. Oh, oh, well, Might that's step. a book tornado. Now I don't know how I feel about those. Chapter ends. Oh, seekers! I'm sorry, little seeker. I want to be their friends. It makes me sad that I have to. What's going on over here? Okay. Oh, that was not a friend as well. This is one of the rare times that I'm hanging out on the Bethesda channel without my healer build on. <laughs> Although I do still have heals. It's in my blood, I can't help it. I have to heal a little bit. I'm a vampire on this So build. what kind of uh, what kind of build are you running now then? Uh, this one is basically just full crit vampire magic oh. stab in face. <laughs> the, more th the more stabbing I can do, the better. Like this. Yippah! <laughs> well, uh, if I knew that, I would have put the Ring of Pale Order back on. Ah. But I thought I wouldn't because last time I did, you told me off. <laughs> oh, I, it still offends me just to be in it within its existence. Just, <laughs> I, I, can, I can smell it at this point and it smells foul. I just, oh, please don't wear that ring around me. <laughs> 
great when people are soloing, but as a healer, I just... Oh, gives, it, gives, me, the, gives me the heebie-jeebies, that ring. There we go. Oh, I actually uh, haven't read those ones yet. I've got a law book. Mm. Oh, wait. It, how do I... Oh, it's up there. There is a sky shard up there. That looks dangerous. <laughs> yeah, we completed a couple of, and uh, to be honest, I wasn't the only person guilty of wearing that ring. We went to do the dungeon and it both was both me and Don Whisper who had the ring on. And Kay was trying to heal us real hard. I was honoring the dead for my life. <laughs> and she couldn't figure out why we were still losing health until until it all clicked in all of our heads that maybe I need maybe we were the problem. <laughs> yeah, so we are on the official Bethesda we channel are today. About the Ring of Pale Order. And we are doing the secrets That's of the great when you're running solo. But obviously, when you have a healer in your party, um, the healer might not be whoa, happy about that, <laughs> as you can imagine. Oh, I gained the champion point. Nice. Hey. Right, where are we going from here? I think if we go ahead, actually, we should end up by the um, Sky Shard. I love the little hands! Do they pick you up when you stand there? Yeah. They just want a hug! I just wanted to see. <laughs> if you ever get lonely, just walk into some spooky hands. Wow, go. no, no. Okay, L let me run this way. Because I want that piece of sky shard. <gasps> Whoa, okay. Tome shells everywhere. I love tome shells so much. Oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Oh, you don't have it either. No, I uh, I think what I usually do is I don't pick it up before I do the quest and then I remember mm. that I haven't done the quest. But yeah. I, I think it actually shows up as not being completed if you've not done the quest anyway. We want to go huh. do the boss so that we can try and get a page. Okay. Do you know where the boss... Oh, I guess the boss is the other way, right? Because mm. it, that's yeah. usually where it leads you. A bit you, of the long way because I forgot. Yeah, to down, if you, if you keep, fine. <laughs> if you just keep following the delve, it usually takes you to the boss fight. Hey, everyone who's joining us, how are you all doing today? Hello, friends. Hey, you, you're finally yes, awake. Yes, this is Apocrypha indeed, yes. You recognize it correctly from all of the books piled around. We are in Apocrypha. Oh, look at the ceiling. I know. It looks so pretty. All the little tome shells floating about. I love them. Oh, there it is. Let me, let me get my... Helpers out. Let's go. Not one of these tomes will escape my grasp. This knowledge shields me from your duty. I return. Oh, thanks for the tea. Ooh. I got, I think, a page. Esoteric parchment. I guess that's it, right? Yeah. Yeah, nice. And I got the secret. Offer with uh, some oh. little trinkets inside. Nice, nice. I love yeah, this. Some of the this little goodies so good. in those are good. Mm. Just some little extra crafting materials and 
lots of different diagrams, motifs, recipes that you might not already have, which is really nice. Oh, he's just spawned again. Well, I don't again. mind if I do. Oh, I just I just put my pets away because I know <laughs> people don't like that, you know. From this ink, I draw my strength. To ink, I return. Uh, I just got gold. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't get anything goody that time. Hello, dragon. How are you today? I hope you're well, glad. Because if I'm you're not, glad a of these walls fell down on us as we were fighting and uh, shaking the book stacks. Oh yes, <laughs> they are very sturdy. Yes, the flying books are wonderful. I, I just, I just love it. A little Boarding Tom books and knowledge, of course, so of course. He's so cute. I'm Team Yen, sir, for those that don't know. Slap the pages out of you. <laughs> she is not nice. Into Tom shell like that. They just little floaters. Look at them. Look. I know. I don't know how they can be so Look at mean them. to that little so guy. So cute. This, this little, little floaties. <laughs> there is uh oh, wait, are these things yeah, these plants have eyes. Oh, I wish I didn't look. <laughs> That's a lot of eyes. There's a fun random encounter with a little tome shell that I actually found for the first time yesterday. <gasps> There's more tome shells. Look at them, they're just floating around minding their business. How can you be mean to them? These little cuties. Wait, I lost you. Sorry, I was looking at the tome shell. <laughs> and then I lost you. Okay. <sighs> they are worth getting to the top. They're just so cute. I love them. They are extremely. Look at them. I do have a tome shell pet. It's not on my. Uh, I think it was like one of the first things that I grabbed when the crates came out with it. I was like, Give me. These also look like eyes. Everything looks like eyes here. I mean, it would make sense, but also. Eyes is the next prompt for Tess October, isn't it? Ooh! Yeah. If you like doing art, or anything artsy, or, you know, if you like doing stuff, have a look at the ESO and Bethesda Twitter accounts and news articles, because there's Tess October going on, which I'm doing as well. And they give you different prompts. And the one I like about the Elder Scrolls Online one... Hold on, I need, I need to get my fungal drum going. Uh... <laughs> summon the world boss uh, i like the elder scrolls online uh, october art october thing because you don't get a new prompt every single day there's breaks in between so the most recent one <laughs> mushrooms the next yeah see this is what i've been talking about <laughs> and the next it's one's so eyes just out of sync <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Mushroom butt cult. Mushroom butt cult. But we can't say that on the Bethesda <laughs> channel. It's so out of sync. <laughs> oh. That's really funny. <laughs> Join us. Join the mushroom smackers. <laughs> can, can anyone join with any other instruments? Or people are gonna be dancing or anything? This is uh, Ashlander's. Uh, oh God, uh, what's the full name of this? So this is a new, um, in the new crown crates. Ashlander's fungal beat. That's uh, that's the name of of this emote, and it's it's not the easiest of instruments to learn. <laughs> Absolutely worth the I feel gems. Like everyone walking slash in endeavors. here now is just so confused by what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> we are playing on European servers. Hello, PC. Slacker named Jack. Hello, how are you today? Hope you're glad. Like, 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 yes, we're on the official Bethesda channel today. Oh, there we go. We have a dancer now. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I used to crochet before world bosses, and people would come over and be like, Nice, make me a pair of socks, but this is way more fun. Oh, we got we got more, I think. Come on, do it. Do it. Dance. <laughs> you know you want to. 
I how much more people joined into dance yes it'd be even more chaotic if your companions did the same emotes that you were doing <laughs> Ooh, someone gave us some uh, Ooh, uh fire. yeah <laughs> pyrotechnics and everything oh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Aww. Boss is going up any second, I think. <gasps> I just looked up! Oh! Oh, there we go. We can take this. There he is. No more mushroom drums. Mushroom buckle. Mushroom buckle. I had to be go. really careful and make sure that was muted then. Oh. Witcher is. <laughs> mushroom buckle. The one without a shield. There he is. I think there are two and more with shield left. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, oh my this God. is the one where you see a lot of people just yeah. randomly dying. I think I think to be honest, it was it was my own fault. I I stood in parts where I shouldn't have. There we go. Oh no, oh no. You okay? I dodged out of his thing and I didn't... Oh, my uh, oh. bags are full up. That's okay. We've got Gladil to help us out. Ooh, the clitter. I got... Icker, but that's it. You guys make me Icker. <laughs> <laughs> I got uh, one out of four. Where do we collect the rest? I guess... Oh, yeah, we have like three more places to go. Well, and I'll sell some gets for Zez. Trade with Khajiit. Trade with Khajiit. Uh, I guess we go out of here and then we just gonna do like a little half circle around and get the rest. Hey. Headless horseman and guaman. Well, I, I, I have it in my hand, so everything is under control. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Ember, do keep up, darling. I do love that seekers are just floating around. It just. Oh. I remember before Bard, like Mormon was announced and Barden fell apart. Um, looking up in the sky and seeing cliff racers flying and when I when I tell you that I absolutely squealed with excitement because I was like oh my goodness this is this is so good and then Morrowind came out and I was like this is even better <laughs> and then cliff racers were everywhere again and uh, yeah then I had to fight them again <laughs> a cliff racer emo in the most recent crates as well. It's a throwback to the old days where they'd be the bane of everyone's existence. <laughs> I, I'm actually leading us somewhere and I don't know where I'm leading us, so... <laughs> Hopefully uh, I'm me, going. Let me put the a right ping. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it says Herald. Okay, so I guess we need to find the Herald Seeker here. Somewhere. If we make our way to the next... Uh, if we just make our way around the world bosses, we'll probably bump into oh. Seekers. Hello. Can you see that on the right? Just above the tower? The book. Hello, buddy. <gasps> what is this? I think he's a random encounter. But why is he talking? Or maybe I've got a. Quest Who here that? I that didn't I even see about. that boost on at first. Who yeah, knows? so we are doing. Oh, uh, oh, okay. We are doing dailies and we are uh, killing bosses and uh, clearing out delves uh, to complete dailies and contribute to the um, to the progress meter to unlock all of the rewards. So if we make our way just around the random world bosses, we uh, That's might... That's a good question. I need to double check, but I think um, the rewards will be unlocked for all Necrom 
owners whether they have taken part in the event or no. I can check that in a second and see if we have more information on that. But, of course, I highly, highly encourage everyone to go and uh, take part in the event. We still have until 10th of October, but we are currently sitting at 59% out of 100, and we all want that house at the end, so... The more of us taking part, the better. I think we get updates on the amount around 3 p.m. So we should okay. get another so update soon. Very soon, hopefully. We'll keep an eye on that. We didn't bump into a seeker on the way, but we might get a page from this boss, so... Okay. We'll uh, smack some mushrooms. <laughs> Get those pages while we're uh, trying to find seekers. Oh, that, that wasn't a long one. That, listen, maybe maybe this summons them real fast because this is like three out of three that we started the mushroom drum circle and the boss appeared. <laughs> oh, goodbye. Oh, there it is. <laughs> of chaos. Whoa! Are you okay? Yeah, I dodge rolled, but I guess I slightly timed it off. You were amazing. You will not survive my magic. I forgot I'm super squishy on my vamp build. Whoa! Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He he's found pretty, me as well. He's pretty beefy. This one. This is one of the world bosses that is a bit more challenging. Wow! Everyone died. So he oh, he wow. respawned. Okay. okay. Yeah, he's he's pretty uh beefy. I love it though. I love. I was not paying attention. Uh, whoa! Don't run into me. Oh. Okay, I person. see. I am actually going to pay attention to what we're doing now. <laughs> yeah. It's the. Oh, wait, it's when he does the big. One. Yeah. That's the technical name for it, actually. So. <laughs> Is it now? Yeah. We're gonna have it this time. Whoa! Sorry, folks. Woo! I haven't the done this. After uh, me. No, I no. I've done this one without my healer build on yet, so I'm usually keeping most people alive. But I've got my. Uh, I might switch to my healer build. <laughs> Actually, Whoa. I will because if we there get we to the last part of the event, uh, I'm gonna want to be healing. Okay. What's in the last part? Now I'm worried. <laughs> Ooh, well, I think the what's the so the turn the pages obviously we're finding. Wow. Whoa. Uh, I we're finding I am the alive pages for now. So alive. I'm pretty sure. I will keep the bots occupied so we all get it again. Oh, I forgot to get Ember out as well. That's probably. Oh no. I'm gonna switch to my little uh, healer build up in this. There we okay. go. He's dead. There we go. Let's quickly switch. Oh, to... I got two uh, pieces of parchment from this one. Good from one. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. Sometimes when you get two, it's uh, real tasty. Let me equip this one. And then we won't have that issue again. <laughs> <laughs> and let me get Ember back out. Come on, bud. Ember is uh, obviously the superior option for companions. Although that being said, I haven't unlocked the new Necron runs because I'm still leveling Ember. She's only level 14. She's still a baby. Once she gets to level 20, I'll try the new bullies. All right, so we got stuff from here and I guess we need to... How much more... Um... Quest. Not the turn the pages one. What does the other one say yeah. for you? Uh, the the Iker. I still need to collect uh, three Ikers from Herald Seekers. Okay. So, so those are just randomly splotched about the place. Okay. So if we make our way towards the next world boss, we'll probably see one on the way. So if I ping that on the map, do a little okay. raid ping. 
I'll follow you. Where am I? <laughs> you don't tend to be on cards too much, but we'll see. They're pretty beefy as well. Okay. Occasionally I've uh, appeared at a way shrine and one's just suddenly like people have kited it to the way shrine. <laughs> and I've just <laughs> gone, oh, oh, Shio, help me. I lost you. Oh no, I am following you. Um, I'm speedy. It, it doesn't show me anything that way though. Um, so for me, the quest shows the other way. You, do you still need the seeker goodies though? Uh, which quest if... is that? So we've got uh, the page one, and then I, because I've already done it, I can't see what one it is. But the other one for the event in holiday quests, does that one still say gather the? What one does that one say? So turn the page says assemble a bundle of esoteric parchments. And the ones in Apocrypha, so the secrets reclaimed and devour of dreams uh, just tells me to talk to ordinators. But Bastion Mimic, uh, I need to collect three out of four acres still, so. Yeah, so that one, we can do that one at the same time as the, you should have two quests under holiday event quest. Maybe? Unless you already did it. Um, might have already done it. Okay, because the holiday quest, the first one that you do, ends up taking you to a Nimic. So that's why I was going to do the other quest first, then that one. But if you've already done it or um, it's not on there, then we can just focus on the pages and the yeah. thingy. Uh, for the Nimic, we do need a group. Okay. So, and it is... I mean... We, we could do it easy peasy, but we, uh, we, we need a group, so... Okay. I'll follow you. I trust you. But if we make our way to the next world boss, we'll probably find, hopefully, a Seeker on the way. I always okay. find that when you don't want to bump into a, a Seeker, you find them all the time. <laughs> and then every time you do want to find a Seeker, you never bump into them. And you're just like, really? They, they know it. They know that you're yeah. looking for them. Ooh, stuck on a plant. Yeah, we... It's not gonna be. It's not gonna be. Where are you, Herald Seekers? They don't want to play with us today. There are ways to find them easier. Uh, usually if you type in zone chat plus Nimic, there'll be groups running around and mm. you can join them and they'll say, Seeker over here, and then you travel onto them. Uh, it's kind of like a really fun way to do it. And when the group finder comes out, it's going to be even easier because you just yeah, go on there. Yeah, it will be really easy, yeah, because you will be able to just um, create a group like that. We didn't bump into a Seeker again. Bring the lightning! But there is another very, uh... Oh, I think this world boss has just been killed. These people are running oh. out. Mm. Not mean to grab and stab you, bud. <laughs> How many pages are you on? I have collected... Let me see... I have three pages. Oh. Are you playing the more. mushroom again? Oh yes, I'm gonna summon Vrokulsha. Hey! <laughs> hey! Oh, uh, what's going on? Is someone healing you or something? Yeah, I'm being healed out of the emo. <laughs> Here we go. Mushroom buckle. Mushroom so, buckle. <laughs> how many of you in chat completed the Nimic then? Oh, there you go. You can see people in zone chat now doing plus Nimic, plus Nimic. It's the easiest way to do it. That's how I did it the other day. 
Although, no, my luck is hilarious. I did plus Nimic, plus Nimic in chat. I got instantly invited to a group. And as soon as we got to the Nimic, everyone was like, so I've never been in here before. <laughs> Every other, all, all of the other three people were like, yeah, so I've never actually done this. And I've done it before, but I've followed people because I've been healing. So I've yeah. not been uh, running forward. So I was like, well, I have done it, but I just followed everyone else. <laughs> so we were, we were in there for quite a while trying to find our way through the Nimic, through the library. But we got there in the end. We figured out the puzzle in the end. We got there Good. and we got the goodies that you needed for the uh, holiday event. The bonus holiday event is quite fun. Um, I think a lot of people haven't done it because you don't need to for the event, but I recommend doing it because the story that goes along with it's quite good. Ah, we, you have people uh, playing. Oh, someone's uh, beaming you up. <laughs> Do you not like my music? How rude. <laughs> I'll have you know I was trained by the finest mushroom smackers. <laughs> <sighs> more folks are arriving but not enough folks are playing the mushroom drum to summon the boss maybe i should join in if we play really well it might give you two pages again <laughs> <laughs> there we go back to back <laughs> I, I'm so from a long, long line of mushroom <laughs> butt cultists. I am. <laughs> a long, long line of mushroom butt cultists. <sighs> Trained oh, throughout the ages. An instrument as well? Yes, there we go. <laughs> That's quite the remix. No, the um, the mount that I have is not currently available in the crown store. And yes, the new Arcanist is fantastic to play. It's so much fun. I am currently playing on my uh, main sorcerer because I have completed some of the quests on my Arcanist instead and I wanted to show you from the beginning what to do for this event. But Arcanist is quite great. I love the, I love the Arcanist. I'm just kind of attached. Oh wow, that bard is going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it worked! Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Now we got heals for days. Oh, well, this that is didn't absolute. Last. <laughs> I forgot to I attack it. One and more page. I oh no! I didn't do enough damage, so I didn't get any loot because I, I was healing instead. But hey, I, I, I think I've got some. Okay, I've actually got five pages because I had a couple from the other day. Nice. So I ah. have four pages. Oh, so close. Let's try and find a seeker because I think they have a chance to drop a page too, and it'd be cool for you to smack one down. I do actually have enough uh, Ikor to summon the Nimic if we have a group, but... Maybe that's for later today. When we send folks your way, you can show yeah. them. You can get a group and show them. <laughs> Should we try looking for Seekers? I can teleport to um, Tranquil Catalog Way Shrine and we can have a look there. Yeah. And if if we don't find anything in the, in around the there, we're just gonna get one turn on those uh, turn in those quests that we already have done. Yeah. Hopefully, if we find a seeker and they drop a, uh, they'll drop a page. If not, we'll make our way to a world boss again and. Mm -hmm. They they tend to drop pages. If you see any resource nodes along the way as well. They have a chance to drop them too. Okay, I'll What's keep an eye on that. One little oh, the other oh, and treasure chests too. Oh, good. I didn't want to walk. So I think we haven't been this side yet. So let's have a look. Oh, 
run off path a little bit and I'm speedy. I'll check around these. Well, that's a normal what? seeker, that's not a herald seeker. Come on, seekers. Don't be shy now. Now I see resources everywhere. <laughs> You know, I only just put points in the easier to spot resource nodes because mm. I've never put points into them because I was like, nah, I'm not going to waste my skill points on that. But then I realized I was sitting on 30 spare <laughs> skill points. And I thought, you know, I should probably just put some Oh, I found the Herald Seeker. Oh, oh, I'm uh, coming. I'm killing coming. one. Oh, Stack there are three it. of them. What? Oh, no. Oh, it, was, oh, yeah. it was one. No, oh, okay. it was kind of... It looked like it... Oh? Oh yeah, they do like this uh, t cloning th uh, trick thing. That's yeah. Like, I did have two spawn near each other once. That was quite fun. I'm here. I have arrived to kill the seekers. So these are kind of like wandering world bosses. And if you bump into one by yourself, oh, you most likely will perish. But luckily, there's a lot yeah. of people okay. walking around trying to kill them at the same time. Sure, there we go. We need their nice. sludge. Uh, I've got another Almalexid deck fragment, which is quite good. And I've got one Icker. So that's good. No page? No page. Nah. We'll keep trying. It's always that last page that doesn't want to drop. <laughs> Oh, hello. Hello there. Oh, there is one more. Yeah. Another seeker. We're lucky we killed that other one first because he was just making his way over here. That would have been quite fun. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> what I've seen. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Oi. Oh, my, um, my armor broke. That's why. <laughs> hey, random. Where are you, where are you, where are you, where is it going? I'm, I'm trying to move it over here because there's a random over here. So I thought maybe they'll see the chaos and join in, but... <laughs> Help! Ooh. I don't feel so Whoa. good. There they go. There, they're, now they're spotted there spotted it. <laughs> I thought they're not going to see it over the hill, so... i pull him over the hill a little bit. They'll see what's going on. They're probably hunting for the... Uh, Sludge as well. In the pages. Oh, okay. There it is. Come on. Come on, seeker. Those mind terrors. I do not like the look of them, not gonna oh, lie. There's they a... have too many limbs. So creepy. Too many limbs. There's some parts in Apocrypha as well where they're hiding in the ceiling and if you walk near them they just fall down and kind of jump scare you. It's happened to me a few times. Keep always co-streaming so if you want to see her uh, point of view as well you can actually click on her name in the title and you will be able to um, watch her side as well. Any luck on her page? A new page, but I've got a golden lead. Hey. Oh, yeah, I need to do mine. Oh, there is one more seeker over here. Literally, right here. Oh, my goodness. Now we're getting all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, bud. Okay. for the follows on Twitch and TikTok. I really, really appreciate it. Welcome in for those that have just come over from the Bethesda well, channel. Okay. I hope you are having a great day to today. If you have any questions me. about me, about what I do, feel free to ask. Everything is going on around me now. <laughs> Look at you go. Oh, my weapon ran out of charge and my armor is broken as well. <laughs> always happens really need at the to best go and time. Fix everything. Everything happens at the same time. It always happens that way. Oh, oh. 
Oh. Oh, hello. I didn't know you could grab me like this. Random. You arrive when he's at 4%. Goodness me. Oh no. <laughs> I think that was my last Iker. Okay. So, um... I guess what we can do is... We can go and talk to ordinators and... Turn everything in? No luck on a page again? No. But that's alright. We might be able to... Uh. Oh, try this. <laughs> what? Grab the herbalist satchel. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Come on, Paige. Come on, Paige. No. Aww. Aww. <laughs> I found them drop the most from world bosses. I nearly always get one from a world boss. But they have dropped from seekers for me before. I mean, we can always try and kill another world boss. We're just around the corner from one, one right? Yeah, let's, let's go. Yeah. One. Never pay off now. I think this one actually counts as a seeker as well, so it can drop the glow. Oh! Oh! Are they fighting him? Yep! Yeah. Oh, I'm trying! I'm trying! Luckily, there's not as many people here this time, so okay. we should be able to get. <laughs> that one doesn't have a shield. Well, it has a shield now. Yeah. Okay, that one disappeared. Yeah. I'm just keeping an eye which one. Oh. That one doesn't have a shield now. And it has a shield now again. <laughs> oh, hello, Watcher! Yeah, get interrupted. There we go. Okay, and one more left, I think, over here. Let's go. Okay. You best drop us a page after this, buddy. <laughs> or I'm gonna be having words. I'm gonna go straight to your boss. Me and him Come are kind of, yeah, we're we're like buddies now. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a pact and stuff, right? So you don't want to mess with me. <laughs> that one's gone. Okay, this one is the last one I think out of four. Yep. And now the main one. Okay. Yes, I got the last Yay! Page one. Nice. And so now if you combine them, you should get the next stage of the quest. <clears throat> okay, yeah. So should we turn in the quests here or what should we do next? I uh, will hand in the turn the pages because mm -hmm. a few people have been confused about where to hand that in. And, and that is um, back in Necrom, right? Yeah, that is back in yeah. Telavon and Penasueli. <laughs> and uh, Peninsula! Uh, <laughs> Penasueli! <laughs> I will infect all of your minds no, with Penasueli. No. 
a lot of people, so if you're confused where to hand in the turn the pages quest, uh, you have to right click on the five pages first and then click use. And that combines them into the item that you need to hand in. So that's when the next quest of the, uh, the next part of the quest will pop up. Because a lot of people have been going, where do I hand this in? So it's a good opportunity to While teach you While I'm all. in town, I'm going to also fix my stuff that broke halfway through. Oh, yes. Through. They moved the quest giver after the first time. I will betray you all and I will yes. vote for the music yes. box. Senthi, Emma Jackie, hello, how are you today? Hope you're glad because you if you don't, like I'll be music boxes. Hi. Wait, uh. Can I just. Okay, I have to tell you that I got your safe. Uh. <gasps> I have just been informed and I'm, I just want to cry. There is apparently a Telvani teapot that can drop from these boxes. Really? I mean, you might be able to find it in uh, guild stores, maybe? Oh. If you don't get it by the end of the event? Oof. I want it. I mean, you have to. I need it. You have to. You, you need it. it. You absolutely I do. I do need, need it. it. I'm going to open these right now. See? Come on, teapot. Come on, teapot. No. There we go. Okay, so Ooh, um, oh. I need to charge. I got life. a duplicate of the. Oh, ooh. Don't have that yet. Weapons. Okay, I've charged my weapons. I turned in my quest, and now I have um <clears throat> just the apocryphal ones that I need to talk to. Oh, oh, they over here as well. Okay. Nice. And then the other one. Let's see what I got in the coffers. I turn the pages event is going to be in a slightly different location. Because I'm doing it for the second time instead of the first time. And if you do it the first, if you do it and then do it again, he'll actually be next to the event impresario lady. Okay. No. Welcome back. Uh, soup. If you prefer, I would be concerned if you didn't. It should come as no. Good worker survey. Okay. I've got a pretty good amount of stuff, including stuff that I don't it have. So that's you. great. Ah, expert. So done. obviously you Very said well. that um, well. I'll pass these pages Nimic takes a while to complete. Is yeah, this something you. Uh. Plan to do uh, today? I can <laughs> do. I'm sure we can uh, <laughs> gather some forces together and, or just do it with randoms like I did last time and go full yeah. chaos. The main reason I'm, a <clears throat> I'm asking is because, uh, well, our time for stream is uh, almost ending, but we're gonna send everyone your way instead, Ooh. so you can maybe no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely no pressure, but maybe you can show them uh, the rest of the event and uh, maybe a little bit of Nimic exploration and just uh, the rest of Necrom and uh, Secrets of Talvan event. Ooh. Yeah, we can do. Yeah, yeah. And you have a very important right. you you have a very important decision to ponder now when you hand in your quest. Yensa. Oh, I I already chose one. music box. Oh. <laughs> well, there you go. Decision made. I just picked Yensa again. <laughs> I just went and handed mine in. I was like, give me the tome. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining today. And thank you so much, everyone who joined in to watch uh, our stream as well. I am going to send you all to Cape Howe now. So you can continue the exploration with her in the event. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. I'll see you later. Thanks bye for bye having Kay. me. <laughs> so now we're about to have the Bethesda fam coming in. <gasps> here we go. Oh, there's a couple people that are here early. Okay. 
Oh my goodness, this was totally unexpected raid that we didn't know that was going to happen. Uh, so top, top secret, I didn't tell Bethesda this, but when I'm doing the fungal emote drum, right, when we're at the world bosses, uh, I'm actually trying to bring you all into my mushroom butt cult. Because it sounds kind of like you're smacking a mushroom butt. So it goes a little bit like this. Mushroom butt cult, mushroom butt cult. Come and join the mushroom butt cult. Mushroom butt cult. Mushroom butt cult. Mushroom butt cult. Mm, come and join the mushroom butt cult. Mushroom butt cult. <laughs> mm, mushroom. <laughs> Mushroom buckle. But obviously we couldn't do that on the official Bethesda stream. So now you know that I was uh, telling Bethesda to, to send everyone to my mushroom butt cult. <laughs> if you're a, a, a fan of Shia Gorath, by the way, uh, while I, tr I, I'm not, I'm, I'm, we'll go back on Coriel. I feel like you deserve to see one of my favorite characters who is Shia Goliath. Uh, I love him. Outfit costume. This is the Pelotine Tea Fate Gown costume. I believe it it's a purchase in the Crown Store and it's periodically. Uh, so this is Shio Goliath, who is my necromancer. And he's a tank. So Shio Gorath mixed with Shio Goliath. This is Shio Goliath. He's my necromancer healer. And I love him. He's a very good boy. He's a very good boy. I love him. And I spent a very long time getting him looking exactly like Shio. So obviously we've got my main character, Coriel. Coriel, yes. She is my Templar healer, my main character, the character that I have the most hours in and I love her very much. Uh, for people that were asking about what costume and skin I'm wearing, uh, I will show you specifically what it is, but I know that the skin is the Meridian Purified, which you get from doing Veteran Depths of Malatar. You do not need to do hard mode, it's just Veteran Depths of Malatar. And the the costume is the Pelotine Tea Fate gown. And I think that's right. And the, the mount changes, it's random, so... But I will double check all of those. And the headpiece is from Midyear Mayhem. You get that from one of the achievements in Midyear Mayhem. I'll show you that all when I get there. Uh, so would one of the Realm of Insanity regulars who is a subscriber like to do the honours? This is... Without the dash. Sugar Daddy. There we go. This is Sugar Daddy. Thank you very much. You got there. In the we got there in the end. This is Sugar Daddy. He is my necromancer healer. He gives all the heals. He never takes the heals. He hands out heals all day, left, right, and center. He's a very beefy boy. Look at him. He's Sugar Daddy. <laughs> One more time for the people that missed it. For the people that missed it. Here we go. Sugar Daddy. <laughs> I love that so much. Um, the shoulder piece, I think that is the Sai Sahan shoulder pieces. There's loads of those floating around because it was for the Jubilee event and they dropped like mad. And now, like back then, the drops were crazy and now I'm struggling to get even one piece of the current event uh, outfit. But yeah. This is... Kajashi, yes. Uh, Kajashi is my arcanist healer. And she has a very special story behind her because she's actually my Dungeons and Dragons character for a campaign called Roads Less Traveled. If you were here for the Bethesda stream, you will have heard the lovely Ophelia introduce me. She is actually the dungeon master of Roads Less Traveled. It is a D&D campaign ran on her channel. Stop. Uh, it is on hiatus at the moment, but you can catch up with the previous episodes, including epi including season one, which contains Kajaji. And I dressed up in all outfit, and uh, she was a cleric healer in the D&D campaign. It was super, super fun. So as soon as Arcanist got announced, I knew that I had to make Kajaji the book-obsessed uh, 
Alfiq. She's an Alfiq, although you can't be an Alfiq in ESO. So she just know that she's an Alfiq in the campaign. And then uh, in season two, I'm playing a wood elf called Rainil. So if you like D&D and you like the Elder Scrolls Online, go follow the lovely Ophelia. And go check out the previous campaigns. There's links there for season one and season two for you. Uh, anyway. Thank you very, very much, War Machine Lord, for using your Twitch Prime on me. Millions of streamers on this platform and you chose me. I really, really appreciate it. Welcome and all welcome back to the Offshore Tea Suppliers. <laughs> Enjoy your chat badge, your emotes, the ability to change the room lights and the ability to use sound commands. All the commands available to you are under the exclamation mark commands. Enjoy. Thank you very, very much. And of course ad free viewing no more ads on my channel for you oh this is the tome shell pet by the way uh i knew that i had it on one of my characters also i have mushrooms on my top here it's kind of fun right i like mushrooms uh, tell Varney event i had to wear mushrooms anyway i'm getting distracted uh this is lestari ignis and lestari was actually back when i started playing the game in the beta the first character I ever made was a dragon knight called Lestari. And that was back before I knew everything I know about the Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, I love her. I spent a long time making her look pretty. Uh, she's using the Nordic bathing towel and some of the Merkmire crates uh, out styles there. She's got the Doom Crab pet as well. Yeah, I love her. She's super cool. Uh, back in the day when I made her, though, she still exists. I remade her when I bought the game because um, I played the beta. It didn't run very well on my laptop, which is not ESO's fault. It was my laptop's fault because it wasn't a gaming laptop. It was a gaming laptop, but it was back when gaming laptops weren't really good at gaming. And uh, so I had to wait for the game to be released on Xbox, which is where I originally played for three, like for the like three, four years. So I remade her on Xbox and now I've converted her to a Dragon Knight healer, which sounds like it shouldn't work, but it really is so much fun. Dragon Knight healers are super, super fun. If you ever want to mix it up and try something fun, Dragon Knight healer. That's my Xbox main character is Lestari of the Dragon Knight healer. But I, I made her on PC because I thought, hey, it's been a while. I'll remake her. And she's a tank on EU PC. So I play on every single platform and server, by the way. Uh, I, I, I can't play on PlayStation right now because my PlayStation 4 is broken. But as soon as I get another PlayStation, I'll be playing on there again. I do main EU PC. But I play on every single platform and server. And on nearly every platform and server, I am CP level at least. Maybe uh, on Xbox EU, I think I'm like CP 300 something. Uh, on X on PC EU, I'm 1,642. Uh, on PC and A, I think I'm CP 300 and something. On PlayStation, I think I'm level 50 on both of them. And on Xbox NA, I think I just got to CP 160. I, I think. Don't quote me. I need to really write these things down. Uh, right, so obviously I've shown you Shio Goliath. Oh, another migrant. I left PlayStation 4 for PC. I miss all the houses and emos. Ah, oh, I originally started on Xbox. Moved over to PC for streaming because I didn't have a capture card. Then I got a capture card, and now I go backwards and forwards between PC and Xbox, but I love both. Uh, how did you play? I don't have a PlayStation 5. I really wish I did, <laughs> but uh, I don't. Uh, my PlayStation 4 is just like the hard drive's all funked up, so I could easily get a replacement, but I'm trying my hardest to buy my first house in real life right now. So you'll see the bar above me. It's the Iral Hearthfire Fund. I'm trying to do the Hearthfire DLC in Skyrim in real life life so my partner and i badgers and i are trying to get our first home so i can actually have an office because this here is my bed this is my bedroom so all these plushies are on my bed and it's chaos in here i've been doing this for a few years now and i have i've been sleeping chilling and working in the same room i've run out of space to be honest so i'm trying to buy my first home and it's been chaos so eventually i will probably try and get a playstation 5 but for now all of my spare money is going into house deposits and future furniture, etc, etc. By the way, the I Will Her Fire Fund, that's obviously not in this past month. That has been going for a couple of years now, maybe a year. Um, 
So every time we hit the goal, we level it up and add 500 pound to the goal. So we're currently on level 14. We originally did it that the goal would double, but then it ended up getting really out of hand really quickly. So now we add 500 pound on here. Came here to say that there is a Cyberpunk 2077 No Coincidence audiobook read by... I love her voice so much. Okay, fair, fair manner. How are you today? Hope you're glad because if I said everyone else that's in here today, hope you're glad because if I'll be sad. I usually say that when everyone comes into the stream and I'm probably going to start saying it now that chat's calmed down a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, fair. I haven't played for Cyberpunk yet, but I've heard good things. Uh, so we got Shiganara, we got Roshanara, who, fun fact, is the first character that I made when I came over to PC EU from Xbox EU. And I really didn't get along with Sorcerer back then. Uh, I feel like since I made her, pet sorcerers are actually a lot better than they were. But she's really, really good. And I really like her now. But back in the day, I had no idea how to build her. And I just didn't get along with Sorcerer. So I ended up trying a Templar and absolutely loved her. So this is Roshanara. Tea Leaf the Thief. She is my PvP uh, Nightblade. She's super fun, super sneaky. I'm actually trying to build her as a bomber because I've never played a bomber class in PvP before. And I really wanted to try it. But there's one ability that I don't have that is kind of really needed for PvP Bomber. So maybe one day I'll try bombing. But for now, she's kind of half created. Gulp's Only T is my Argonian Warden and probably one of my favorite looking characters. I'm, I love her outfit so much. She's using the bright throat skin and a lot of dead water armor, but I love her so much. She's so colorful and I just really enjoy the way, what is the mask on tea leaf? Um, it's a very good question. I can't actually remember. I think it might, it's, it, it might be the thieves guild hood. It's going to be one of the sneaky, sneaky hoods. I can't remember. I'll have a look in a second. She's wearing an eye patch, though. That is not part of the hood. That is the uh, the pirate hood thing. Uh, Teapot Lil is my necromancer wood elf. She's super cute, too. I like her outfit. Fashion Scrolls is the real end game. Fair warning, it's so good now that you'll get chills. Really? Hmm. We've got Rosie Lee, Queen of the Sea. Rosie Lee is cup of tea in Cockney slang, for those who don't know. I'm British and Cockney slang is like something, a second language to me because uh, I got a lot of Cockney folk in my fam. So yeah, Rosie Lee, Queen of the Sea. She's my lovely little, uh, she's my panther pirate. I love her. She's real cool. She's got my little beta monkey that you can just about see. Peeking round the back there. And the least favourite character of mine, who I was forced to make out of uh, the hatred of chat, as a Khajiit. I have a feeling about Nords, because they're always threatening to turn me into a rug, you know? Uh, but chat made me create Woodvere Windbreaker. I chose his gnome because he's a fart. So this is Woodvere Windbreaker. And you know, I'm not a big fan on Nords because they were always threatening to turn me into a rug. But I feel like I made this one hunky Nord, right? As far as Nord go, Nords go, he's pretty he's pretty hunky. Look at him. Look, he's so intimidating. <laughs> I look at his his back, his hair, he's just I, I'm quite proud of him. So yeah, that's the tour of all of my characters, all level 50. Let's try, let's try, let's be a little nimic. Let's do, let's do oh flip. I didn't type it in zone chat, I typed it in area chat. Let's try again, shall we? Oh. Let's see if we can get into a group. Let's do a rando Nimic. Why not? Are you are wondering about my chair. That is another affiliate link. Uh, if you are in the UK and you want to check out this chair. And if you fancy buying it. And uh, helping me out. If you buy it through overclockers.co.uk forward slash K-E-S-O. K-A-Y-E-S-O. You will be able to uh, help me out with a little bit of money. Again, no extra cost to you. And before you go on there and you're like, hey, this chair is expensive. Okay, fair. I will say it's not the cheapest chair, chair in the world. But I will also tell you that it is worth absolutely every penny. 
it is a collector's item. And I have had this chair for quite some time. And it hasn't shown any wear or tear in the time I've had it. Full disclosure, I was sent mine, but I was about to buy it before they offered to send it to me. But yeah, if you use that link, I do get a little bit of extra goodies. So if you want to uh, help me out, you can buy that <laughs> through the ESO. Make sure if you ever use affiliate links, not just for me, for any streamer, always accept cookies. Because otherwise, you will not be able to be tracked and you will not be able to help out people because the cookies are required to see where you've come from and if you buy an item without accepting cookies the streamer will not get any goodies so there you go please accept cookies when using affiliate links please accept i'll uh, be yeah eso chair if you have any questions about the chair let me know but it's the hero chair which is which is built to withstand all types of body types including larger bodies so if you're concerned about that or your chair's cushions have sunk in before this is a really good option uh and it's nice if you if you sit like a gremlin like me and you always put your knees up on the chair it's really good for that right so let's see if this group has ever done the bastion nimic before everyone is like cp a thousand so we'll see this is randoms so i I don't know if these people have ever done it. We'll, we'll find out, I guess. We'll find out together. This is the Bastion Nimic. So the first quest that you do for the event is not part of the special quest to get the house. But the Bastion Nimic is part of the first quest, which is just a bit of fun. And it introduces you into the Bastion Nimics. So if you can't find a group to do it, my best tip for you is to go into Apocrypha, go in zone chat and put plus... Nimic, so plus sign Nimic. You'll need you'll need um, Ikor to get in. You'll you'll need Ik you'll know, you'll need Ikor to get in, which I will show you in a second. But you need to go around killing Herald Seekers, and then you will get a delicious, delicious piece of Ikor. And once you get, I think five pieces, you'll be able to unlock the Nimic. There's loads of groups running. Uh, you don't have to always have the pieces. You can wait for someone else to get the pieces and go in. It's kind of like a, a mini giant dungeon with puzzles. You'll see. Again, these are random. So I won't be able to keep up this chat as much. Because I don't want to be slow and have them be grumpy. Um, but there is a daily quest in the middle of Necrom. If you don't know how to do this. And it will guide you through the process. So if you've picked up a quest called... One second. If you've picked up a quest called Bastion Nimic Writhing Wastes or just Bastion Nimic, it will basically go through and show you how to start up a Nimic. And effectively, you need to go around unlocking Ikor, which is how you unlock the puddle that we just went into. And then you'll go into this place right here. So I did skip a step, which because when I was with the lovely Ophi, we killed a few delicious Herald Seekers. Oh, so four Ikor. So I've got four Ikor. I didn't need to go around killing those. So we did skip a step and then you run up to a puddle. You place the Ikor in the puddle. It will show you where on the map if you've got the quest. Like I said, if you are confused, you can always go around and... Uh, go to the zone, the Apocrypha zone and type plus Nimic in the zone chat and there'll be groups running it and if you watch me right now you'll get a rough idea of how these groups run so there's multiple puzzles you can do in here and you can do as little and as much as you want to do can repeat daily so you can do it you can repeat dailies on different characters and also if you get a group together you can have other people share dailies and you can do more than one daily on one character so if you go in a group of four i don't know how many times you can repeat a daily but basically uh if you if you get in a group and you all share the same daily and then you hand those in and then the next person picks up the dailies, shares that daily, and then you hand them in. If I remember, you can do it two or three times a day, but it might have changed. 
but basically if you if you just share the quest from the quest log i haven't forgotten about the giveaway by the way chat don't worry if you are watching on the vod my lovely tea storians i do apologize there isn't a giveaway running for you right now as this is live on twitch but if you do want to enter more giveaways i'll probably be doing one in the discord today if we get a lot of new friends join our discord so keep an eye on the discord or on my twitter for eso giveaways i currently have a giveaway running on twitter slash twix for a copy of the basically necrom or eru violet phantom Guar or eso plus so go check out my twix you might have to scroll down a little bit for that one go check out my twix and also go check out my uh discord kpowerhd.com for it's just links links in bio or i'll post them in the chat right here again if anyone is new here because there's a lot of new friends in here right now uh, i'd love to answer any questions you might have about me about my community about my time in the elder scrolls online or my time in for example uh lovely S uh, starfield uh, do we have anyone in chat who's playing starfield right now i feel like there should be because there's a lot of you who are big bethesda fans right that's where a lot of you have come from the lovely bethesda chat i'm really baby in starfield because i've been playing the secrets of the telvani event but i am really really enjoying it i'm really enjoying starfield or are we just all really hardcore eso fans and eso is love eso is life everybody's just playing eso and nothing else if so fair don't blame you <laughs> yeah me too joe me too jo tyler joe trong hello how are you today hope you're glad because if you're sad if i repeat people i'm sorry or if i miss you i'm sorry i'm trying my best you're playing Starfield? Yeah, this event is definitely distracting me. I really want to do my part for everyone to get that house. And also the extra drops is nice too. <laughs> ESO no lifer? I don't blame you. I don't blame you. But yeah, Starfield is a lot of fun. Uh, so for those that are playing Starfield, who you join in? Uh, I'm currently leaning towards the Freestar Collective just because, Sam, I want to romance the Space Cowboy. And, you know, I've got a bit of a thing, apparently, for Space Cowboys, so I'm kind of leaning towards that. But the Neon people are very intriguing as well. However, I've not come across those in the game yet. Like I said, I'm baby. I'm super, super early in the game. Uh, I've literally only just done the first temple because I've been so distracted with... I went, I went AFK during the week of Starfield. I was absolutely devastated. Absolutely devastated. Can't tell you how upset I was. So uh, during the Bastion Nimic, you've just seen us doing some puzzles. The puzzles are very simple. You basically go around the different areas, pulling levers or killing bosses or killing mini bosses or killing waves of enemies. Uh, some of them require you to go through all different portals. Other ones have levers. This one had levers that you push. And then once you've done the uh, the puzzle, you get to a big boss at the end, like this one. And they, they have quite a lot of health. So Nimics are done in groups of four. And this event does get you to do one as a bit of fun uh, for the first quest. So you'll see a lot more people at the moment doing plus Nimic. Plus, of course, for the Secrets of the Telvani event, there is also a special... Uh, double drop situation going on so if you've been farming anything from the telvani penisweli yes that's how i say it or apocrypha now is the time to go farm let me just get my rotation back okay get some uh, essence drains down oh dear get a healy healy on there we go i enjoy free star collective and the free ship is nice oh i haven't got to that point yet but hopefully soon has any of you touched the ship building in starfield because i tried to and felt very overwhelmed so i need to go watch some tutorials because otherwise i'm just gonna be very confused you tried soloing a Nimic the other night. How did it go? So we have defeated the Herald. Uh, 
And now we go on to the next section, which is the middle section. So you, you defeat a big boy, and then you defeat another big boy. And it can be completely random or not. It's just, I don't know, Nimix are weird. I like Nimix though, they're kind of chaos. Play Copper. I'm sorry, little frob. We currently have the, uh, uh, this is the Noxious Herald. I made Zaya 2 man the last four Nimix I needed for the achievement earlier. He wasn't impressed. Oh no, really? Actually, I should look up the achievements because I don't have an achievement yet. I made it to depart you on out. Ah, oh, did you not get past him? Yeah, he's pretty tough. Not gonna lie, he's pretty big boy. These people are lucky that they've got a full-blown healer just randomly join their group. Unless this is one of you that's invited me to this group, then fair. <laughs> Imagine if it was one of you lot that saw me in zone chat and was like, oh wait, that's that girl that I'm watching. That has happened. It's been known to happen before. Oh my goodness. Lord Perrier, oh, your loyal servant. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh dear. I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Maybe don't stand in the stupid though. Oh dear. Oh! 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 Get it! Oh, you know, I... You, an attempt was made. An attempt was made. It's okay, I'm a Templar. I've got like CP points in all the quick res. I know healers shouldn't res, but the amount of times that people just don't res, I thought, why not? There we go. Yeah, he, the voice acting in here is super fun. Super, super fun. Oh, Shroom Tender Breaches. Nice. Nimic Purifier. Ah, uh, you know one thing we need to do, really? Oh, what do we... Oh, we got two achievements. I need to do some thingies. Thank you. Let's do... Uh, slash G... U I. We got the defeat the Noxus Herald in Bastion Nimic and defeat the Irrefutable Herald, the Dreadful Herald, and the Noxious Herald in Bastion Nimic. Nice. What is going on here? Do I need to log on to... Right, I see what's happened. I need to log on the, the shared achievements. I haven't logged on some of my characters and it's going goofy. Okay, fair. Yeah, don't stand in stupid, stupid. Oh my god, the worst thing is a healer when DD stand and stuff. Right, Sprouty? Hi, Sprouty, by the way. Hope you're glad, because if you don't, I'll be sad. Hello. He was okay with doing one or two to help out, but four of them in a row? Yeah, I can see that becoming a bit of a, a flap. Don't stand in I stupid. play on Xbox where I have very few friends. Oh no, we do have a guild on every single platform and server. Uh, I do main EU PC. I will fully disclose that, but if anyone's interested in... um. If anyone's interested in joining the Insanity Party Guild, Worshippers of the Great Shiagorath, we're on every single platform of server. Right, let's uh, travel back. Good old easy travel add-on. Don't stand in the red. Oh, by the way, here's a top tip from K Power XD. For though, and this is something that a lot of people don't know exists. And this is a tip that works for every single platform. So it doesn't matter if you're on console or if you're on PC. A lot of people think this is an add-on. Jump scare. Uh, and it's really not. This is base game. So. Let me leave the group first. So. Go to settings. Go to gameplay. Scroll down, and in combat, there is this section right here. Custom colors on. You want to turn on custom colors and smack up the friendly up to 30. Then you know where to stand when people are healing. Always stand in the green. But be careful, because a lot of places in Apocrypha have green as the color of the AoE. So this is where the next bit comes in. You want to change enemy color, which is default red. You want to change it to a bright pink or something similar. Because if you do blue, if you're in the uh, Lorcan dungeon, that can be an issue. Because a lot of that dungeon is blue. If it's red, you have problems with uh, fire. So pink, not many AoEs in the game are pink. So if you do it pink, 
and turn up the enemy brightness up to level 50, you will not stand in stupid again. It is so, so helpful. And I, I see people in chat saying thank you. It is a top tip of mine. One of my top tips in Elder Scrolls Online is to turn this on. Also in the same section, uh, you've got auto loot, prevent attacking innocents. So that if you ever accidentally attack a guard or an innocent character and then you get attacked by guards, you can turn that on, prevent attacking innocents. Again, that's base game. Have a moment and just go through all the settings in ESO. I know it can be quite overwhelming, but there's a lot of settings in here that are going to help you. Also, another thing that is base game is nameplates. A lot of people ask me how, what add-on is that to show people's names and health bars above their heads? It isn't. It's base game. So you go onto nameplates, you turn on nameplates, you turn them on. Uh, there's also health bars you can turn on here. Uh, indicators, you can have like all sorts of stuff in combat. You want to have your buffs showing, that's at the bottom here. I'm, I'm behind it right now, but this is buffs and debuffs. So a lot of people are like, what add-on is it to show your buffs and debuffs so you can always see if you've forgotten to put your food on? Again, that is base ground. Uh, that is base game. So yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of settings for you that are base game, not add-ons. Obviously, I am using a couple of add-ons. I've got a, a map add-on that I'm using, which is Bandit UI. But the nameplates, the name, the health bars, the AOE, that is all base game. So please take a moment to go and check out uh, the settings in the game. It is. Yeah, it is annoying when you get a new character and you have to reapply all the settings. But hey, is there a setting or add-on that can apply the settings to your main to all your characters? Ah, uh, there probably is. I usually just sit through and do it all over and over and over again. Right, chat. I have actually been live for three hours. So I think I should go and stretch and take my eyes away from the screen for a little bit. Go make a cup of my bass. I'll, I'll do, we'll do a guild house tour as well, actually. Uh, but I will show you the um, the Bastion Cheese Hate Party, which is a Christmas tradition now. A what? It's a New Life Festival tradition now. You see, you see, a New Life Festival tradition. What region is the giveaway? Ah. Uh, any platform and server, you get to choose the code. So here is the Bastion Cheese Hate Party. We have a lovely collection of delicious meats, mostly sausage, as you come into the door. And uh, Bastion is where he belongs, in a cage filled with cheese. So people can throw cheese at him. It's a bit Christmassy in here because this is our Christmas tradition to throw cheese at Bastion. Uh, he's a disgusting cheese hater and as the realm of insanity worshippers of the great Shiagorath, we simply cannot stand for such disgusting views on the world. So, uh, welcome to the Bastion cheese hate party. A Christmas tradition here in the realm of insanity. <laughs> He hates cheese, right? And I, like, he's rude because it's okay if you're lactose intolerant, but it's not nice to judge everyone else around you eating cheese. You're not allergic to cheese. You're just intolerant, right? So you can be around cheese. You just can't ingest it. You disgust me. You disgust me, Bastion. And you, where you belong, you're disgusting. I hope the shivering cheese haunts you in your dreams. Oh, this isn't the guild house. Uh, but the guild house is also filled with cheese. We got Make the Light. We got like a good selection of people. We got Ember. We got Make the Liar, Azabi. We got a Jester. We got Miri. Everyone's here hanging out to throw cheese at Bastion. Uh, I made this as a collaboration with Bethesda last year uh, in December. Uh, they gave me the crowns to buy the house and all of the cheese. And I spent all those crowns on the house and then all the cheese. <laughs> And I just thought it was... I, I, I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Anyway, that's the Bastion hate party. Bastion cheese hate party. Our actual guild house is the Eleanor private arena, which is my uh, chosen... My chosen thingy. 
don't forget to type in escape from jail uh, when you're in chat so we can uh, get you through. What is the giveaway? Your choice of ESO code, ESO plus, crowns, necrom including base game or touch torch bug pet. All platforms and servers. If I don't have codes for the server of your choice, uh, I will just have to re-roll, unfortunately. Right, so. Welcome to the Insanity Party Guild Hall, the Eleanor Private Arena. Here we have the arena. All worshippers of the great Shugorath deserve an arena to watch their guild members fight to the death for their enjoyment. This arena, for those that don't know, has actual working traps. It's because why would we make a fight fair when we're worshippers of the great Shugorath? So those that haven't seen this house before, uh, it does have working traps. So we have the lightning switch that produces lightning, as you can see the AoE on the floor. Uh, it has a blade trap, the delicious sp spinning Dwemer blades, we all know how much damage these do. And they go in and out and in and out. Then we have the lava trap switch, which makes lava spout from the middle of the room. And for those that are going to ask, yes, you can use them all at the same time. We've done charity 1v1 matches in this arena before with a bracket and everything. And people could donate to charity to turn on each switch. And it was absolutely hilarious and chaotic. I definitely want to do that again at some point. So yeah, that's that. Turn those off. So we, we do really fun 1v1 matches in here. This is my, uh, this is an Omezrat, which is the most mer-like of the Khajiit. It's what I am. Some of us have tails, some of us have ears. My gong, which I sometimes spam too much and get kicked from the game because I spam it and it doesn't like it. My throne with my yarn ball so I can sit and watch. Now, what would the insanity party be if we didn't have a tea party? You can see a, a theme here can see a theme here. I, I don't know if you understand who we worship. Uh, we got Tithis and Nuzume with uh, pumpkin heads. Doris, who has law. Okay. Doris has very important law. But here we have the tea party. The eternal tea party. With my plushies. More Shigoraf statues. We've got Maik here. Ember's here, a giant Shugorov statue. Of course, we have everything over here. We got, uh, don't worry about that. They're definitely not down the side of every chair because Skooma Cat rules. We've got Serene, who's kind of drunk on the table. Lots of sweet rolls, lots of cake. Badger's here, he's having a drink from this mug over here. Uh, for anyone that's wondering, the kitty plushies, because the people ask me a lot, those are from the Valentine's furnishing, furnishing bundle. Uh, over here we have our guild hoard room. This is all the goodies we've acquired from dungeons, etc. And this is where we hang out and chill by the fire up here through this magical curtain is my bedroom. Don't worry about that. It's everywhere. Uh, I have decided uh, that this is the perfect time for the tea party because you can see all the glowing lights. I do have the uh, the um, the thing that changes the time of day. Right, so we've got a lovely tea party over here. I believe the, uh, the the times of fate thing is like over here or something. I'm sure I put it over here. I guess I didn't. I imagined it. It's fine. It probably is on... Oh, it's on the table. There we go. The hourglass. That's the word. Hourglass. So this changes the time of day. It's currently morning. You can change the time of day in your house with this. Now, if you need to do some crafting, we do have the crafting tables down here. We're eventually going to upgrade these 
to the new crafting tables because as of the next update, which is a free update for everyone coming out this month, you're going to have really fancy crafting tables which are going to be able to collect every attunable crafting station on one station. I've never had a guild where I've collected all the attunable stations before because I just didn't have the space. But oh my gosh, it's finally happening and uh, we're probably going to start collecting them at that point. Uh, this guy over here is our transmute station, of course. We've got some dummies. We've got the eternal Halloween section because Halloween is my favourite time of year. I love it. So we've got a Halloween tourner. And you might be like, well, that's really cool, Kay. Right, you've got crafting, you've got a party. What else could an insanity party want? Well, um, the only other thing in this house is a giant lava pit, right? Now, uh, why would I want just a giant lava pit? Well, you know, I, I decided to craft something in the giant lava pit. And it only made sense to have... Uh, a Khajiit walk. <laughs> so this lava pit right here is completely empty usually. So I built all these, all of these rocks around here and made a Khajiit walk, aka a catwalk. And yes, that is our lovely uh, Kuska run it, walking up and down the catwalk. <laughs> uh, we have had fashion shows in the guild in this room in this house and uh there have been prizes we've not done one for a while i really should do one again soon uh let me jump down here and show you Kuska running on the catwalk i mean it only made sense right the realm of insanity a giant lava pit who needs what are we gonna put on there a catwalk your feet might get a little bit toasty. We've got a judging table. We've got an area that you can sit and watch over here. So this is for the audience here. Don't worry about the collapsing rock. There's nothing to worry about there. Uh, but we're going to go sit at the judges, the judges table right here. And we're going to watch Kaska uh, strut her way down here while I drink some tea. There she goes. Mmm, little toasty toes. Unfortunately, my tea storians, I think that's the end of the line for you. We're going to go and have some dinner, relax, re unwind, not rewind. Though that would be a handy thing to have in real life. But I want to thank you very much for following me along on this journey. Thank you to Bethesda for having me on their channel today. And I hope you enjoyed it. Even if you weren't there live, which I stream every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday at 12.30pm BST. I'm usually a bit late because I'm editing a TikTok. Or there's a special occasion going on like today. Uh, but I'd love to see you live. If you didn't manage to catch this live, please comment down below, t Storians. I'd love to get to know you the same way that I get to know those on chat, on Twitch, who are entering giveaways right now. Which, by the way, did you know I do giveaways? I do them on my Twitch. I do them on my Twitter, or Twix as we're calling it, and also on Discord. So keep an eye on those. Check those out. But YouTube friends... Thanks for coming along. Thank you for helping me get to YouTube partner with those watch hours. I appreciate you so, so much. And I will see you next time. Don't forget, you don't just deserve a life. You deserve a happy, healthy, a timing candle and fulfilled life. Until next time, I'm proud of you for surviving. Sometimes surviving is enough. And I'll see you soon.